Hi everyone! In this video we're going to learn some preliminary theory for exact differential equations. So here we have a definition for the exact differential equation and it goes like this. A differential equation of the form m of xy dx plus n of xy dy equals zero is said to be an exact equation if the expression on the left side, this one, is an exact differential. Okay, so what is the exact differential? So this expression, the left hand side, is called the exact differential. If those two functions, notice here we have function m of xy and then n of xy. If those two functions are partial derivatives of some function f, so m of xy is the partial derivative with respect to x, and n of xy is the partial derivative of that some same function f, but with respect to y. So this two must be partial derivative of some function f of x, y. And in this case, we call this equation an exact differential equation. And what's interesting, the solution to this differential equation will be that function f with some arbitrary constant c. In the next video, we're going to learn how to find this function f of x. In other words, how to find the solution to the exact differential equation. But before that, we need to learn how to recognize exact differential equation. How do we know that an equation, a differential equation on, in a similar form, um, is an exact equation? It means that how do we know that those two functions would be uh, partial derivatives of the same function? Well, for that, we have a special theorem. So here it is. And I'm going to quickly summarize what it says in this theorem. So basically, it says that this kind of expression is called an exact differential if the following condition is satisfied. Now, what is this condition? This is some kind of equality. What should be equal? Let's look at it. Here we can see, because of the symbol, like curly D, right? Um, we look at some partial derivatives, but they're partial derivatives of what? Okay, so the left-hand side is the partial derivative of the function that stands next to dx. And that is the partial derivative of this function with respect to y. So that should be equal to the partial derivative of the function n, that's the one that stands next to dy, but this partial derivative with respect to x. So once we find those two partial derivatives, if they end up being equal, that means that this is an exact differential, and if it's the left-hand side of an, of an equation, it means that we're looking at the exact differential equation. So here I want to point out that, notice that function that stands next to dx, for that function we should take partial derivative with respect to y, and vice versa. For the function that stands next to dy, we have to take partial derivative with respect to x. And again, that is just the way to check whether we're looking at the exact differential equation. So it's like a test. Let's try that. So here I have an example of an equation and I want to determine whether it's um, an exact equation. So I can see expression next to dx. That's what I'm going to call m of xy. And expression next to dy, I'm going to denote by n of xy. So these are two functions, right? And I don't know if they represent partial derivatives of the same function f. Well, using the theorem, we can check that. So for that, I have to take the partial derivative, or find the partial derivative of the function m, but with respect to y, remember it should be like the opposite variable, with respect to y. Okay, how do we do that? Remember, in this case, we treat y as the variable and x as the constant. Okay, so I'm looking at this expression, x cubed. Well, x is the constant, derivative of a constant is zero. Zero. Plus y cubed. Now y is the variable. Here I'm going to apply power rule. So that's going to be 3y squared. So in other words, 3y squared. Okay, so that's what I got in this case. And now I'm going to take the partial derivative of function n, this one, but with respect to x. 
So here I have y, but I'm doing it with respect to x. Let's see. That means that I'm treating x as the variable and y as the constant. So if the function n is 3xy squared, so x is my variable, and it means it's just x to the power 1, right? And then 3y squared is the constant. Well, in this case, once I find derivative, I just drop x, and I'm left with a constant, right? So it's just going to be 3y squared. Okay? So now let's compare. Let's compare both results. And what can we see? Well, obviously, they are exactly the same, right? They're equal. So since they're equal, it means that we're looking at the exact differential equation. Okay, so now let's try one more example. Question is, is the same. Let's check if this is the exact differential equation. So that's m of xy, what stands in front of dx, and that is n of xy. First, I need to find the partial derivative of m with respect to, since this is x, I'll have to do it with respect to y. Now, that means that I will be treating y as the variable and x as the constant. 3x squared y, y is the variable, right? So since it's just y to the power 1, I'll have to drop it, and I am left with the coefficient, 3x squared, plus e to the power y, again, one is, uh, y is the variable, but derivative of e to the power y is itself, plus e to the power y. Okay, got that. And now let's find partial derivative of the function n, but with respect to x x is my variable, y is the constant. Okay, x cubed, x is the variable. Um, power rule, 3x squared. Okay, next, 2x e to the power y, x is my variable, it's just x to the power 1. Derivative of this will be just the constants next to x, which are plus 2 e to the power y. And then minus 2y, y I'm treating as the constant, derivative of a constant is 0. So minus 0, like that. And now let's look at what we got. So 3x squared, 3x squared, and both of them, first terms are the same, but the second terms are not. They're almost the same, but not exactly the same, right? So that means that since those two results are not the same, they're not equal, that means that we're in, this is not an exact differential equation, so those two functions cannot be partial derivatives of the same function f of x, um, f of x, y. Okay, so that's pretty much how we're going to start um, solving each equation that we think might be exact. So we start by checking if it's exact and then follow the steps. And if it's not, then, you know, we need to use some different methods. So let's... Let's look at the example like that um, in the next video.